What's up everybody, it's Aparicio, and today I'm gonna show you how to get a film look in DaVinci Resolve. I'm gonna be looking at movies like Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Interstellar, The Fablemans, you know, these are all shot on 35 millimeter film, and they all have that uh, warm, organic feel that film brings. So today I'm gonna be showing you how to get that. With that being said, let's jump right into this. Uh, we have our shot, um, you know, what everyone loves about um, film, is halation, film grain, those are obviously two things that are were considered flaws, but people love them now. You have a nice, uh, you kind of have a glow and a softness to the shot. It's not so sharp and, and, you know, as people would say now, a digital look, right? The warm highlights and the cool um, shadows is another thing that really make the characteristics of film. So we're going to call our first node primaries, curves, and then white balance. We're going to get through these th first three nodes really quick. All right, let's go to parade. All right, so I'm just going to kind of uh, I'm gonna bring up my gain, uh, not too high, maybe to run 896. And then I'm going to bring my uh, shadows pretty, pretty low. So then I'm going to go here to mid detail and just put it down a little bit. That makes the uh, the details in the mid-tones a little softer. Gives it more of a soft look. Now let's go to curves, all right? And now, I'm just going to go right here, click Editable Splines, and then I'm going to click the bottom one. I'm just going to bring it down a little bit. And then I'll go to the top one, bring it up a little bit. White balance. So let's just make the shot pretty neutral. It's kind of warm right now. I'm going to go to my offset and bring it down, cool it off, bring it up towards the magenta a little bit. Vector scope is sitting pretty high towards the uh, warm tones. I think I just made it look pretty neutral if you look at the before and after. All right, so these were my correcting nodes. Now let's go to get our film look, right? So. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go to my gain, which is the highlights, and I'm gonna push toward kind of a yellow orange, all right? Not red orange, more of a yellow orange, okay? And there we go, I pushed it a little bit. Our shadows are pretty neutral, so I'm gonna go to my log wheels, and I'm gonna go to my shadows, and I'm just gonna pull them down toward the uh, the teal cyan just a little bit and let's label this node look and let's take a look at what we did totally warmed up the shot cooled off those shadows a little bit I'm even gonna go a little bit more in the shadows and the logs just a little bit more I kind of want to exaggerate it for you know YouTube compression and now my next node i'm just going to label it blacks and what i'm going to do is go i'm going to go um to my sat versus sat and i'm just going to click right here and drag this down i'm just taking out the blue from the darkest uh the darkest points just so we can have some uh pure blacks and then the next one i'm going to label it skin and I'm going to go to my qualifier. I'm just going to grab her skin, turn the highlight on up here. And then let's get her skin. Okay. And then let's go to our vector scope. And we can see our skin is sitting a little too much um, toward the yellow. I'm just going to bring it up a little bit. So I'm going to put my denoise up. Blur up. Blur radius up. Uh, blur radius to about 10. I'm going to throw a power window around her just so I don't pick up anything else. And I'm going to track that back and forth right here. Okay, cool. And now I'm going to turn the highlight on, look at my vector scope, and I'm just going to bring the offset a little bit more up toward the magenta. That's it. Tiny bit. That's it. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. It doesn't need to be perfectly on the, the skin tone uh, indicator line. But now we're getting that nice magenta uh, 
in the skin, the nice red in the skin that we see in film. And then now go ahead and create five nodes. And I'm going to go back to my primaries and just bring down the saturation a little bit. It starts to get a little too saturated. Bring it down. These nodes will really make it feel like um, film. So first node, I'm going to call it glow. And I'm going to go up here to effects, type in glow. I'm going to drag it in there. And then once I do that, I'm going to go to composite type. I'm going to go to soft light. All right, and I'm going to put the shine threshold all the way up. And then I'll go to global blend and kind of put that up a little bit. And that just kind of adds more of an organic feel to our shot. If we go before and after, didn't go too crazy with that. The next one will be our halation. Depending on the time period or the stylistic choice, obviously there'll be different uh, amounts of halation in film. Um, I'm just going to put uh, a little bit. So I'll go to halation in the effects, drop it in. Um, you see what it's done. Create a nice red glow and high, um, high contrast points, highlights. Put the threshold down. I don't want too much. You can, you can do as much as you want. You go crazy. Strength, okay, I'll keep it about where it was. And then the spread, you can also adjust. How much is it coming off the skin? Not too much for me, but it is there. I do actually do a little more. And then if you click here to view isolated regions, you can kind of see what you're really working with. And that's good for me. That's pretty much the highlights. I'll exaggerate for the sake of the video. All right, boom, halation, there we go. We're gonna call the next one Blur. All right, we're gonna come right here to Blur. And we're just gonna put it up to about 52, I'd say. Film isn't as sharp as digital, obviously. So blurring it out is always good. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is add a vignette. Put the size all the way up. And then global blend. I'll put it all the way down and then creep up. There we go. Cool. Label it. Make sure you guys label your nose, all right? Because. Alrighty. Last thing. Film grain. I don't know if the free version has film grain. Uh, I don't think so. Let me know. Uh, click 35 millimeter. Mm, I'll customize it. Let's zoom in and see the opacity, texture, and then the grain size. I'll put up the grain size. And then I've added some green to our shot. And now if we play it, we can see. So that's the film grain. And then I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna add a node after skin and I'm just gonna adjust uh, the picture a little bit. Put the highlights down a little bit. Uh, they were getting a little blown out. It's gonna become easier in DaVinci Resolve 19 to create a film look. You can go and add your power windows and um, you can adjust certain colors, qualify certain things, but that is generally how you get a film look. Characteristics to put in a shot to get a film look. So, so you guys made it through the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this helpful. I will see you in the next one.